All right, guys, sit down, sit down. Holy shit. You know, I got to tell you, I'm so fucking pissed off at the league office and the umpires right now. Pissed off. That fucking strike zone last night went from three feet under the ground to the top of the bat when you raised above your head and from behind your ass to over there in the dugout. When you're at the plate with a fucking two by four by 12 and you can't reach an outside pitch, fuck that shit. Look, I get it. I get it. Keichel is good. He's a good pitcher. Real good. But what kind of horse shit is it when you say, oh, he's a low ball pitcher? So the umpires have to call every fucking low fucking pitch a strike? I've never seen so many pitches out of the zone call for strikes. Bullshit. Guys like Judge, you know, getting set up with an impossible low pitch, called for strike two, so he has to swing at the next pitch, which was thrown in the same exact place. That's what makes Keuchel a good pitcher. He throws a shitty pitch, the umps call a strike, so he throws it to the same location again. Fucking shit whistles. I mean, what the fuck? You know, how about we say Seve is a high ball pitcher, so they give him the strike over the batter's head. How about we say Seve is a bowling ball pitcher, so they let him roll the ball to the plate for strikes. How about the fucking umpires can pet my nuts? Okay. That was some game other than that, okay? There's good news and there's bad news, okay? Here's the bad news. It hurts like shit to lose a game 2-1. to one. It really does. I'd rather lose by 10, okay? Because we really had a shot to steal that first game. Sanchez still isn't hitting, okay? We left 12 men on base, guys. We cannot leave 12 men on base in a 2-1 to one game, okay? First and second, nobody, nobody, DD. Even DD, even you were guilty. I hate to say it. Two strikeouts and three men left on base. We only had five fucking hits, guys. I know, I know, I get it. He's a good pitcher. And then the fucking DH between between Els Els Ellsbury Doughboy, Holiday, and who's the other banana? Headcase. You guys, guys, DH stands for designated hitter, not don't hit. Holy Christ. So that's the bad news, okay? Which isn't that bad, okay? The other bad news is my mother-in-law went to mybookie.ag. She bet the over last night, and she lost, okay? Her first loss. So she's 5-1, and one, and my family combined is 15-3. and three. Not bad. Not bad. At, I mean, even that even makes Jimmy the Greek look like Shemp. Anyway, she calls me this morning. I'm having coffee. She says, take it the Yankees are tonight. I have a feeling a Seve pitches are good and the bats will wake up uh, against Burger Glamper. I said, you mean Verlander? And she said, hey, whatever, whatever. So my mother-in-law is going to mybookie.ag, putting in the promo code, capital V-I-C, taking the Yankees to win tonight, okay? So here's the good news. We can play with these guys, okay? Two to one against their best pitcher. And that's with the umpires giving him every fucking pitch that was close and wasn't close. Tanaka and Green combined for eight innings, six hits, one walk, and two runs. I mean, that's what you want every time out from a starter and the pen. Okay? Judgy Wudgy. You, you're getting a little better now. Okay? Just keep, you got a hit. It looks like you, you, you're settling. Just, just keep thinking at the plate. Okay? Joe. Joe, listen to me. Why don't you move Bird down into the second hole and slide Judge back to five? Seriously. Judge is not a fucking two hitter, okay? Did you ever see Mickey Mantle back bat second? Do I have to go through every fucking home run hitter in history to, to make my point? Please, Joe, just think about it. Why are you so fucking stubborn sometimes? Holy shit. More good news. Michael K. You know, the guy from the Yes Network and ESPN. Michael K. Yes. He's been talking about me on his show. He's a nice guy. He really is. 
And I think he does a really good job. Yes, he did. He's fair. He's smart. He's articulate, knowledgeable, but he's very cheap. Okay, very cheap. He's been texting me, emailing me, and his private messaging me. I think he wants some tickets, comp, for when we come back to the stadium for game three. He even sent me a fucking carrier pigeon with a little message taped to his legs. I said, Michael, you work for the Yankees. Can't they get you tickets to the game? Okay, I haven't heard back from the guy. What are you going to do? It is what it is. But he's behind us, boys. Michael K. is behind us. Okay, gentlemen. So this afternoon, we face Verlander. Okay. We hit him before. Let's hit him again. Nothing fancy here. He throws it. We hit it. And that's that. Okay, we now know how good the pitching, how, how good pitching will shut down the Astros, okay? Sevy, you are away from the stadium. Go throw a gem tonight. Just, just do it, Sevy. Guys, last night was one night. Now it's gone. Okay, we have a game this afternoon. It's the only thing that matters. Go fucking play hard. That's all I ask. I gotta go to the umpire dressing room now. I'm gonna go shit in their cleats, okay? Don't say nothing. Get your minds right. Get ready. I'll get out of here.